everyone. This is an intro video showing you how to get started with Hydros in 202A. So Hydros is a numerical software for groundwater flow and solute modeling. So first of all, let's uh, go to the official website by clicking on Hydros 1D. And we can see they have a different version for Hydros, uh, including 1D and, and 2D and 3D. For 202A, we are only using Hydros 1D, which is a free program. Um, the 2D and 3D here are commercial. So let's go to the download page and select the latest version to download and install. Uh, usually, if you are the first time user, you need to do the registration. And also, uh, Hydros 1D only runs on Windows system. So if you are having a Mac, you can run Windows on the system with Bootcamp or other alternatives. I've listed a few methods for Mac users in the tutorial document. So after we installed it, the program's graphical user interface looks like this. Um, we have the pre-processing unit where we can specify all necessary parameters before running the Hydros code. And the post-processing unit will consist of some simple XY graphics for presentation of soil hydraulic properties and also some outputs such as um, the values of a particular variable at selected observation points uh, in the domain. So in this tutorial, we are using a simple example from the tutorial book, um, the directed problem infiltration into a 1D soil profile. So let's go to the tutorial web page. A detailed description of the problem can be found both in the tutorial document I prepared and also in the, this tutorial book. And they also have the simplified workflow below. So in general, um, this example problem involves infiltration of water from a pounded soil surface into a one meter deep single layered loam soil. So the soil profile is initially unsaturated, having an initial pressure head of negative 100 centimeter. Uh, water infiltrates from the saturated soil surface, which is represented by a constant pressure head boundary corresponding to the pounding depth. And the water drains from the bottom of the soil profile by gravity. Uh, which is represented by a free drainage boundary condition. This introductory example helps to demonstrate the advance of the wetting front throughout the soil profile and helps to see the runtime information, the mass balance and, and all other input and output information. So let's start with open a new project and type in the name. We have example one here and the description of the project infiltration of water into a soil profile and you can choose the location of your folder and click on OK. Now let's start with the main process and change the heading to infiltration of water into a soil profile and here you can select uh, what to simulate uh, here we are only using water flow but if you are taking for example soil chemistry course you might learn about solid transport with frixi and also for your project you might want to look into heat transport, root water uptake, CO2 transport, and so on. But here we are only using water flow. So click on OK and you can select the other dialogue or you can also just click on next to jump to another dialogue. Uh, and also always take advantage of this help button because it would show you all the detailed information about each option, which is really helpful. So next we go to the geometry information. This is where you can 
Define the length unit for your soil column and also the number of soil materials. For this problem, we left everything as default. And click on next, we go to the time information. This is where we define how long the simulation will be. Um, the initial time, final time, time stepping, and so on. So for this problem, we will perform a one day simulation. So we change the final time to be one. And others can be the can be in the default setting, and it's okay to have the maximum time step larger than the final time. So the boundary condition is, uh, in this question is constant in time. But if you are having settings such as uh, having the daily values of precipitation, evaporation, and so on, you can specify them with the time variable boundary conditions. Uh, now click on next and go to the print information. This is where you choose how often the output of the model should be printed. And we want the number of print time to be 12. And also click on select print time, uh, click on default, and it allows you to have the print times uniformly distributed. Click on OK and go to next. So the uh, iteration criteria needs to be specified for the numerical solution of the uh, Richards equation, which is the equation governing water flow in the unsaturated zone. Also, um, the time step control factors need to be specified also for the numerical solution. Uh, if you are taking or have taken 200A, 200B, you might have a better understanding of all these uh, iteration criteria. And for this question, we are also going to leave everything as default. Click on next and we go to the soil hydraulic model. Hydros 1D allows you to consider different analytical models uh, to describe the soil hydraulic properties. Uh, it offers the single porosity models with, for example, Van Kluten or the modified Van Kluten model. Uh, there's also dual porosity, dual permeability models, and also whether it's hysteresis. So we need to check which model we want to apply for the specific questions. In this question, we are using a single porosity model. We are, um, we are using Van Kluten model here. Next. So the parameters listed here are the parameters for the hydraulic property model selected previously and you can click on help to uh, check the definition of each parameter uh, you can also change the soil catalog here um, and for this question we are using long uh, for the neural network prediction you can refer to the menu to see all the details about it but we are not using it here and let's go to next Hydros 1D offers a variety of boundary conditions and based on our question, we have a constant pressure head at the top, which uh, is corresponding to the pounding soil surface. For the lower boundary, uh, we are using the free drainage condition because we do not know how uh, where is the water table. We're assuming it's way deeper and only gravity is causing the effect. Click on next. OK, save data, yes, and then we have um, this profile information window so we can make more edits. So go to conditions, initial condition, pressure head and water content, then click on edit condition. And click on top of the soil, uh, this is where we would assign a constant 1 meter pressure head. And we left all other conditions as the initial condition of negative 100 centimeter pressure head. Uh, you can also make the edit from, from here. And for the observation point, you can click on here or click on conditions observation points. At the right button, it shows uh, the depth as you are moving around and click on insert let's add 
um, observation point at 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. Right click and you will able to exit and then click on insert or delete. And then right click, click on insert. So you can change the location and delete or insert the observation point here. This is all we need to do for this question. And go to file, save data. Okay. And then go to file exit. Now we would have a soil profile summary. Uh, you can check whether the conditions are correct. Or you can also make adjustments from this table. Click on next. Okay. So the calculation is finished. Click on continue. And now we have all the information at the post processing unit. So you can go to the observation nodes. Um, you can change the variables. And also right click, go to chart design. You can add legend. This allows you to better visualize um, each element within the chart. And also uh, we have the profile information here. You can see um, depth versus pressure head at different time. And there's also, for example, runtime information, mass balance information. And this is a pretty straightforward example for introducing hydros. Um, please feel free to ask questions. And the manual would be a really good source. Um, that's it. Thank you.